Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce. Let's talk business. And we're live today and we have some special guests. And I'm sure everybody who have been um, involved in receiving our emails know who our special guest is, but we want you to, to know it again. And we got Angela Curry and Angela is our vice president uh, representing Galveston County. And there's a reason that Galveston County is gonna be on the map today. Angela, can you give us a little information? Awesome. Welcome, welcome. I am so excited to see you all there. Again, like Ms. Yandria said, I am the Vice President for Galveston County, and we are looking forward to welcoming you here later on this afternoon for our press conference and your uh, and your dance performance. Again, we want to thank our um, President's Club members, Amico Federal Credit Union, Lone Star College, and Precision Quality Paints. So thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you all made it here to be with us to celebrate Black History Month with us. Fantastic. Uh, Angela, we are at the Wyndham Hotel, which is, you know, right down the street from our corporate office and our member service center. And there may be a little background noise, but we're going to introduce this awesome, awesome dance group that we had an opportunity to witness their performance and realize that there's so much of our culture that's embedded in what who we are in the United States of America and we are celebrating. This is what we call our kickoff to celebrate Black History Month. So I'm going to introduce the lady who's been, we've been working so hard together, making sure that the group gets here from Belize and her name, I know her as Dorina, but go ahead on. Yes, my name is Dorina Castile, and it's such a pleasure to be here. And even before I start, I want to thank you, Miss Thompson, because you made this happen. And I thank you so much for having Uwarani Dance Group to join you guys in this Black History event. Thank you so much on behalf of Miss Margaret Castile, who is the leader of the group. Um, before we start, I also want to acknowledge some of the people in Belize that made this happen. We have our Honorable Mayor Robert Mariano, Sereme Sereme, our National Institute of Culture and History, Niche, in Belmopan, Belize, the U.S. Embassy. We also want to thank them. We also want to thank Honorable Louis Zabani for the little token of appreciation that he had given us, the little stipend. We appreciate that. Oh, let me see. I don't want to leave anyone out. Miss Carmen Silva, we thank you too. I think she's from the U.S. Embassy also. Yes, yes. Sereme, Miss Silva, thank you so much. Gems Photo Studio, thank you, thank you. Mr. Ivan Ramos, I cannot leave you out because last minute you gave us that transportation to reach this destination. Sermon Wayambo, brother Ivan Ramos. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Clarine Castillo, who is one of the leaders of the group. Hi, good morning. I'm representing Warren Dance Group, representing my mom, who is the leader of this dance group. We've been together for 21 years. Rich, rich Garifuna culture. Very, um, we got, you still talking? We listening? <laughs> we have various um, dances, namely the hoo hoo hoo, paranda, punta, combination, abe mahani, aru mahani, gunjai, chumba, sambai, also the wanaragua. Well, listen, I think I've learned the punta. Ah. I think. Uh. <laughs> but I, I probably got my little version of punta in there. But we're going to see most of the dances that you're going to be able to do today. You're going to do it. But the punta, guys, the punta. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for, well, now, this is not all of the group. But I do have to say, and I, and I thank you for uh, acknowledging those who have been a part of this, 
because it does it's not one person that makes it happen yes yeah, so it's, it's, it's it's a group of people though our chamber actually our uh, board members uh nicole wilson uh basically sponsored your trip okay and we're here to pick up where she started to make sure that you got it even how well, I don't know if you met him when we were there in August. He is he is also want to thank him. And then you're going to be going uh, to see the um, Taste of Belize, Bose Taste of Belize. And so we got to thank them too. And then you're going to be going to Galveston today. And in going to Galveston, uh, the Mia Culture Center is the Juneteenth headquarters. You're going to learn a whole lot about how our history has come together, how our history began together. So it's a lot to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, ask the other members of the group to come in because we have limited space here for switching over. So we're going to have two other people come. And uh, um, Angela, while you're giving some information, we're going to switch, OK? Thank you. Where the address to the yes, so Mia yeah. Culture Center is located at twenty one seventeen, the Strand, Suite one hundred one, by the Emancipation Mural in Galveston. So we'll have a press conference at two o'clock, and then the performance, the mixer, coming up at six thirty. Fantastic. So now here we have two other members of the group. Wow, look at those colors. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. That's my favorite color. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we want, you, we want you guys to be relaxed. We probably didn't do a lot of prepping you, but just speak, just talk, relax. And so kind of tell us, you know, we heard about the different dances, but I want you to give your names first and then kind of elaborate on how the different dances got started or what they mean okay and you are hi good morning my name is marianne flores i'm a dancer and singer in warney cultural dance group i've been a member of warney cultural dance group for 13 years now and my thoughts will be to introduce all the dances all the different dances okay yeah Okay, so now when you introduce them, are you dancing it or are you just talking? You're going to talk um, about it. Whenever I introduce them, the group members, all of us will come together and we'll perform the dances, okay. the different dances. Okay, so if you're not going to be in Galveston tonight, you're going to miss a fantastic opportunity, a great treat. However, you will get another chance. We'll tell you about that later. So who do you have next to you here? Hi, good morning. My name is Dolores Palacio. I'm the member of the um, Ori Dance Group for 21 years, and my my best dance Ooh. is Punta, Ooh. because that's what the male love to see when the woman dancing Punta. <laughs> and you, if you go and see us, you're gonna know why the men, the female um, would like to see you dance. Well, I need male. to have a lesson, because I don't think mine is good. <laughs> the Punta, woo! If the females watch the male. If, you know the male watch the female or they go to the rhythm of the drums oh right. and that's very good oh, i'm not going to search more about it just come out and yes watch. please do you're going to miss it if you don't get it come it's, out it's called the seductive dance oh the seductive dance okay. gonna, we gotta tell too much more about that they're yeah. gonna have to come mm -hmm. out and see it in person okay so angela the, can you give us a little information about the culture center because we're going to bring two more of yeah. the members on okay yes yeah. so the neo culture center has been in operation for over 30 years now it is a 5013c nonprofit so they are always looking for community support and the website for neo culture center is neocultural.org and they're always looking for community support, sponsorship, and displaying different art within the um, museum. There is a wonderful uh, video that we have from our last week's podcast that if you want to get a little snapshot of what the center looks like, 
please go to last week's um, broadcast to see that presentation because it's a really phenomenal space. And Miss Miss Leon, I mean Miss uh, Miss. Um, uh, Miss Sue has been doing such a wonderful job there, along with Sam Collins, who is the historian there that the group will get an opportunity to meet later on this afternoon. Fantastic. So now we got two members of this group. So y'all not doing the pool today, is right? Well, I am the drummer. Right. <laughs> okay, so these are the drummers. Okay, so give me your name. Um, my name is John Castillo. Also a lead vocalist for the group, like how my mom is that year, so I take over that as the lead vocalist for the group and also the bass drummer. So I don't, I just want everybody to come out and have a nice time and enjoy. Who are the cultural dance group from Dangriga Belize? And they do have their drums with them. Okay? Yeah, we brought our own drums set <laughs> and ready for the weekend. Yeah. Okay, so who we have here? My name is Darwin. I am the um, premier drummer. Premier is the small, the smallest, the snare drum. Ah, yeah, okay. um, and also we are here to give you what a taste of what Belize got to offer in Houston and also in Galveston. So um, everybody, just come and support it. You know, make this a lifetime experience for everybody. So tell us about it. It was a lifetime experience for me oh. when I was there in August. I know, and I, know. I saw the group, and I'm like, we got it. We, we have so much in common yeah. in terms of our lineage, heritage, uh, culture that we need to be able to spread that, yes, yes. spread that information, spread that word. So we truly are excited that this is an opportunity to kick off Black History Month yeah. and also the Neo Culture Center that you will be going to. Yeah. They are the what is called the Epic, we call them the Epic Center of the Juneteenth. I don't know if you heard about Juneteenth, no, we, we but on our way to Galveston, we're going to um, give you a good lesson. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So is there anything you want to add? Or? Well, actually, we, we just want we just want everybody to come to this wonderful event that you guys have prepared for us. Yes, yeah, so we just want to thank everybody to thank, thank everybody who, who made this a success together okay. so i'm very excited to do what i'm doing uh, we are very excited to be here to do what we are doing uh, in terms of showing show in case our culture yes our culture yes. Yes. from belize yes. you know and i want to say thanks to you to thanks for thanks to you for having us and like i met you two times in belize oh, okay. yeah i met you the first time i met you it was uh in november yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I met you in November. That was that was with um, Dr. Palacio. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Then, okay. then we, we we met in August when when the guys yes, were here. Yes. Yes. So I wanna I wanna say thanks for well, having us here in Houston. Well, we we had an opportunity to see the group thanks to Mayor of Montreal, <laughs> yes. because we had no idea that we were going to have some entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when we did, it was we were we were just. You had to come back with us right then, but we know you, we couldn't have brought you back then. <laughs> so we said, ah, we yes. know the perfect opportunity. Yeah. We do have history. Yeah. And and some of our history is not being told. Yeah. And it's not being told correctly. Right. right. So we need our young people to yes, know yes. history and what that history means. Okay. Yeah. So again, uh, uh, Angela, we are in the lobby of the Wyndham Hotel. Yes. So we have people walking up that didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and of course, we're getting some attention. Yeah. Right. So we got, so how many more? Who, how many we got left? Just two? Just two more. Yes, yeah, two more. Yeah. Okay. So, Angela, we're going to bring those two on. Okay. So that you can kind of uh, talk about a little about Galveston. What well, can they Galveston, of course, is the, the, the epicenter for. Uh, the Juneteenth Legacy Project, and they're looking to have a international Juneteenth Museum located in Galveston. Uh, I know that Sam Collins is working with legislators, and he's in Austin, Texas this weekend, so he couldn't be present for our presentation today. But there is a big effort to have the International Juneteenth um, Museum actually located in Galveston, the birthplace of Juneteenth. 
And now that it is a national holiday, it is certainly appropriate that it be located here where it was originated. So we're looking forward to the efforts that come with that. Yes. Well, the, the, guys, you know, you're making history with us today. Okay. So give us, tell me what your name and what you do and your name and what you know. I know we heard about a premier drum and what kind of drums are we talking about now? My name, good morning. My name is Marion Lewis. I'm from the Angrega town in Belize City, and um, I'm here to showcase my attempt of playing the maracas. We'll say a little bit of that when we start playing the drum. And um, I'm so excited to be here, and thank you all for you know inviting us for this huge opportunity. And I believe that sometime soon it can come back again, you know. And I show that today we will impress you guys, and you know that's just it about me right now. Very good, very good. And good morning, guys. My name is Terry Custom. Uh, I'm a part of Cohen Dance Group. So my role here today will be dancing to Wanaraga. And Wanaraga, guys, is a seasonal dance. We dance Wanaraga on Christmas Day, New Year's, and also the RA. Okay, so we're in for a treat, right? Yes. See, if they say we're in for a treat, we must be in for a treat. Now, is this the first time the group has ever been, uh, left Belize and come to the U.S.? Yes, yes. Oh, so this is history all over in the making. So this is another part of our history that we're, we would love to like to share. So you said Moroccans and you do, you say, you do the dance. Okay, so there's a big, big treat coming up. Uh, dancing and drumming and the punta. We're going to learn the punta all over. <laughs> okay. So tell you what, guys. Do you have anything else that you would like to? I know one of them mentioned they want to go see the Toyota Center. So if anybody wants to volunteer to take them to see the, what is the Toyota Center, uh, be prepared. We just got so many things going on. So we're looking for some people to show up and uh, Let's see how many, many friends you can make and who will be willing to uh, kind of give you a little tour. But we're going to tour a little bit of Galveston. Yes. And then today, guys, you're going to, they had chicken last night and uh, it was, it was a, our normal food that we like to eat. Uh -huh. to, today in Galveston, get ready, get prepared because we're going to feed y'all some, some pizza. Have y'all had pizza? Looking forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Okay, very good. Well, we're going to bring back Miss Dorena and Miss Clary. <laughs> awesome. Okay, here's Miss Dorena back, Miss Clary, and uh, you've met all of their uh, part members of the, the group, and we're excited about the group. This is history. Oh, now, Miss Marina, you don't really you see. Okay. We can allow them to make mistakes, right? Okay, so Miss Marina. Uh, okay, wanna... again, again, I mean, you have, I mean, you, you love what you see. Our culture is so rich and unique, but I'm not going to say much. All I want to continue to say, thank you, thank you, thank you, because this is the first time who are any dance group touched america thanks to you guys without you guys i don't know thanks again and again i'm gonna want to thank my people in Belize. and miss thompson you don't know how much we appreciate you well i appreciate you as well i could i've been coming to belize for 17 years yes so belize is my home away from home okay so please please accept this thank you from miss Margaret Castillo, the leader of the group. Okay. And again, I want to thank I want to thank the people in Belize. Okay. I might have forgotten some. So Miss Leandra Thompson, of course, she's not from Belize, but she started all this along with your team. Mm -hmm. So Reme, we give you a thanks. Thanks. Then we have Honorable Louis Zabani. Thank you, Mr. Zabani. Thank you. Thank you so much. Honorable Robert Moreno. Sereme, Sereme, the mayor of Dangriga, we thank you and we appreciate you. Miss Marilyn Young, National Institute of Culture and History in Belmopan, Belize. We thank you, Miss Young. And last minute you reached out. We thank you. I know it was a rush, but we thank you for getting it done. We appreciate you. Who are any dance group will be 
here for you whenever you need us. Again, everybody come out, come out. Then last, then we also have U.S. Consulate of Belize in Belmapan. Thanks, thanks. Ms. Carmen Silva, member of that team. We thank you, Ms. Silva. Thank you, thank you. Gems for the studio, oh, for filling out all those forms expeditiously. Oh, those two young ladies there. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Ivan Ramos, thank you for that last minute call for the airport. And yes, as sick as you were, you showed up. We thank you. Mr. Ramos is a dear friend of mine. He told me, yes, he told me yes. he knows you for so many years yes, now. Yes, wow. dear, dear friend. Yes, he promised to be on board later. Oh, they're go this is gonna be, we're broadcasting live. However, it is also being taped. So it's gonna be on our website. And you will be able to get the link and put it on your social media. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Miss Clarine, did I get that right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything that you'd like to add last minute? That, yeah, oh, well, <laughs> we would show you the pooch, but we're not going to show it to you nope. now. Nope. You got to come and see. Oh, that's right. And the people in Galveston is in for a treat. They will get to see the pooch. Well, I would just like to thank everybody who sponsored us. And I'm so excited to show off our Garifuna culture, our dances. So look forward to okay. see what we have for after. Yeah, and you got to get a little history of the Garifuna. Okay, so they're going to give you some history. And that's how we're going to be able to see how our histories all tie in. Okay. And uh, Miss Angel, is there anything you would like to add? And you can close out whenever you're ready. Awesome. And I was blessed to be able to visit um, Belize myself on a mission trip right. and love the culture, love, love being there. I felt like I was at home and plan to certainly come to visit again. Beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful food. Um, love the culture. And I'm so honored that you all have blessed us with your presence here. Again, I'm the current consulting company here as the VP for Galveston County, and I cannot wait for you all to make it down to the island to see what we have here um, to offer and support you on your journey here and next uh, Both Cafe uh, on Saturday. So we are excited to welcome you here. So that's it for today. And Angela, I wanted to just add one of our board members uh, is providing the transportation, is premier limousine uh, transportation services. So they'll be picking us up very shortly. Matter of fact, the bus may be out there, but it's called a limousine party bus. Oh, fun. Yeah. Very appropriate. Very appropriate. Thank you yeah. so much again. And listen, thank you. And, and again, we always thank our uh, President's Club members because they support the things that we do and we do appreciate them they support our podcast and, and they will be equally as proud as we are to and blessed as angela put it for you to be here with us today and this weekend we may not want to let you go but i know you got to we'll back. be back <laughs> <laughs> all right angela thank you um, and thank you. We'll be seeing you shortly. Yes. Okay. Welcome. Very Welcome. Good. Welcome. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. I'm Ted Ellis. I'm an artist, but I'm more than an artist. I'm a father. I'm a scientist. But I will always be the Juneteenth Art Ambassador for the city, county of Galveston, Texas. We're here at Nyers Cultural Center, 2217 Strand. It's almost like a, a dream, in a sense, to see all of this come to fruition. This space provides multiple opportunities for, for a lot of folks, particularly the creatives. And in my journey, in my quest, in my paint, in my passion, I can share a story that will impact others in a constructive manner. How powerful is that, that, that you, can, you can share and tell those stories through art? Don't tell me we can't work together, that we can't bridge the divide, the chasm, that we can't be the country built on democratic principles that benefit everybody equitably. I just want to be able to do my part with my art. So my art is for everybody.
that's part of, 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 of this exhibition. People come in, they, um, they pull something back from it, they extract something, and they take it with them. And, um, and we've accomplished our, t our task because we've provided an opportunity for folks to be enlightened. It's, it's a continuous journey. It has been very remarkable to have that conversation and voice and have this space to share that story and that narrative. I would say it's definitely a need and not just a want to have art and culture in your life. She'll care for each other. That's the biggest thing. And out of that, you know, life becomes a little bit easier for us. That, that's where we have to be at. And so the diligence, the, the intentionality of pushing that forward is, is what I'm purposing. And my art has brought me there. And Galveston has provided a platform for me to develop and grow in that capacity. We can move forward together in excellence so that we can improve our human capital and human work. That's what we're here for.